Alright, we're gonna be working on this tank. I just decided, uh, we're just gonna work on some tanks today. But, I mean, everything is pretty much broken, so... Everything is just gonna have to get repaired, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull everything apart. And we'll get it all clean the best way we can. We'll tear it mostly down, or what we can. And then after that... We'll just, you know, sandblast the whole hole, get all that rusting off there, get all the other stuff. It look Alright, let's get these all these suspension arms, get all all the bearings, get the old track off there, get the sprocket wheel. I believe that's what that one is, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, yep, get the spacer. Yep, pull that, pull the bearing, pull the arm, pull the fuel canisters, pull the exhaust, pull the rear mud guard. Let's see, anything back here? No. Nope. Yep, another guard. Pull that. I mean, everything on here is pretty much trash, so there's no real reason not to just tear it all the way down. Uh, yeah, I thought I was going to have to sledgehammer that one, but I apparently didn't have to. Um, yep, get that, get that, get all that. Uh, we'll not pull, um, I don't feel like pulling the big, the big trains out of there. It's going to be a pain in the butt. So what we'll do is we'll just pull everything else that we can and then we'll try to get our way inside and clean the interior the best we can. Dang, all these torsion bars. And then once we get all the suspension arms and bearings and spacers and what have you, then we're gonna start working on the hole. So, hopefully, once we get everything tore down, clean, we can actually, you know, maybe put it in the museum, because I think that's what we're gonna do. I mean, I don't see a point not to. We'll just put it in the museum. It'll, it'll look good. But, we gotta, you know. If we could actually own this one, I don't, we're not owning this one. We're just, uh, you know, repairing it for somebody. But just imagine if we had this in the museum. That'd be, like, pretty good. Alright, pull the front headlight. And I didn't feel like pulling much of that off of there. I just pulled whatever I could get. Alright, now let's pull the turret off. Pull the motor out. There we go. Now let's see if we can get in there. Let's see what we can get. Oop, forgot those. Yeah, I don't know. That all looks pretty bad in here. That's why I was like, we can start here. There we go. Now it looks pretty good. All of the rust is gone, pretty much. Alright. That's gonna be a pain to get to that area, but. Get all that. Oop, forgot the shovel, too. Dang. Can't, re can't really do that one. For whatever reason. Alright, there we go. I was sandblast it. I didn't feel like jumping up there. Oh, pull the shovel with us. Alright, jump up in there. Oop. That's like the hardest part, man, is to get up there, I swear, on this thing. There we go. Sandblast everything. Of course that we can. Forgot that. Get those caps. Sandblast. There we go. Sandblast the heck out of everything. Put some primer on everything. Or at least, you know, what needs primer. There we go. That's just making sure I sandblasted everything. Alright. 
There we go. Now let's put some color down. Jeez. That looks pretty good. Alright, get all those. Okay. See, there we go. We gotta put primer on the other stuff. There we go. Now we can put some paint on it. Yep, looks good. Alright, let's work on this motor a little bit. Everything looks good to me. This is gonna be, yeah, because I don't know what's exactly wrong with it. And it doesn't, like, really show you too easily, so what you gotta do... Like, once you sandblast and think you got everything... You know, it's kind of weird, but... I just started ripping the motor part, I was like... Okay, something somewhere is definitely wrong, but I don't know what it is exactly, so I was like, okay, let's just take the motor apart, we'll find it eventually. Because it never shows you what you're missing, even if you go into simple mode sometimes. So what I ended up doing was just tearing down the whole motor, because, you know, that's the best way to figure out. You know, I thought maybe it was something underneath the air filters, but... Might as well tear it all down if we can. Get it all deep cleaned, you know. But otherwise, it was okay, but... This motor was definitely a challenge. Okay. Everything's done there. Give it a little extra sand blast. Just every time I would sand blast because it's on the scrolly wheel. It was like you, you slip to the next thing. It's like you don't want to do it that way, but that's just what ends up happening. Now we're going to put everything out for outstretch repairs. It's going to be pretty much the whole tank. And I figured I'd save the turret for like last because that's just a lot easier. Yep. Then we get all the exhaust and bearings and spacers it's just, it's just incredible how much like this one had on it like you don't think that these tanks have a lot of parts but once you start getting down to it like taking them apart like there's a lot of parts and there's like the floor and stuff that we had there's just, like might as well just take it all apart. Make sure everything gets 100% done. But, you know, it all takes time. It's not very, you know, easy to do. <laughs> it's like, okay, wait for them parts to get done. You, ho you hope they're done. You hope. And it's like, okay. Yeah, now I'll start putting the stuff together. We can put the motor back together. I figured, okay, well, whatever it was missing is, you know, something easy that I overlooked or did something to. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I got most of it back together. But yeah, some of it was just very bad even to begin with. Alright, there we go. Oh, that stuff's good. Okay. That was... It said it was missing at one point, and I was just like, okay, whatever. We'll just go get it. But, it just... It was a show. It's like, okay, what little simple part is going to be kind of messed up with this motor? So there we go, put the new one on. I figured, you know, might as well. Alright, that's on. 
Then I move over to here to see what else I'm missing. Still don't see anything missing, so I was like, okay, let me put it back in. Yeah, put all that together. Put it on both sides. Because why not? Then I ain't never going to come back in here for that, at least. Bolt all these side pieces together now. They all came up pretty nice, though. Ooh, ooh. I forgot to repair those. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Knew there was something I was forgetting. So let's just throw everything on there. Bearings, spacers, throw everything in there. There we go. Now let's get down here. Get all the suspension arms. And I just figured, you know, we're gonna have to repair everything. Why not just go do everything else outstanding so it's pretty much what I did here I was just like okay add everything because I know I'm gonna be missing something somewhere if I don't so just add it all there we go now everything's getting back together so it's not too bad but I figured now we can start putting something together you know It just kind of sucks that sometimes they block, like, the next one, which is kind of sucky, but... There, put that new one. It's like, they look brand new, but <laughs> they're, they're the same ones that came off of it, you know? Put all of our repaired stuff back on here, get everything done. Get all these bolts, which I couldn't hardly see. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. Ah. Why did I do it that way? Like, that one I can get, but that one I can't. There we go. Now I can. Put most of them on this side. Are you okay, there we go. Now I can kind of see the bolts. It looks pretty good. I mean, it, it just takes forever to put back together. There we go. We're going to make it like museum quality. That's at least the plan for this one. It doesn't really matter too much to me, but we're gonna get it looking real nice. Okay, ain't got none of those. So I figured I'll just go ahead and put the rest of these on because I figured I had all those. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. Get all those, there we go. Then the last one on this side. And I had one of those, so I just happened to just put this one on, too. And then I just put the spacer on. There we go. Looks pretty good. Yep, didn't have one of those, huh? Put both the exhaust on. I'll put the rest of these on. Uh, once we get all these pretty much together, I mean, it's simple, you know? Slap all these arms on. Let's see, do we have. I think we have a lot of bearings too. I'm not really sure. It's like, okay, I think I have all the things I need, but you never know. 
Oop, missing one of those because one of them was broke. Put the gas cans back on. Don't have any of that. I think I only had, yeah, I only took one light off, so it's missing one. But look at the rest of these side plates back on. It's not looking actually too bad, even missing a few things here and there right at the moment. It looks pretty good. It's going together pretty easy. Okay, there's the front. There's a shovel. Do I have the other front one? Yes, I do. No, oh, I had that. Didn't have another light, which I kind of figured I wouldn't. Thought I only pulled one, but could have been wrong. All right, let's go order some stuff. <laughs> Gotta spend more money. All right, let's get all this stuff repaired. Shouldn't take too long. We're just gonna add some tracks, some caps. Add a bunch of these, cause I know we're gonna need at least one of everything or five of everything. You never know. So that's what I figured. There we go. Get a lot of those, get one of those, get some of those, get some of those. Yeah. Shouldn't take us too long. Alright, pull that on. This is the longest that's ever taken me to get these tracks on. Like, it's it takes forever, it seems like. Bolt that on. Last bolt. Okay, now we gotta go over here. Start back here. Put all this stuff on. It's just more of the same. But yeah, we'll hit these on. There goes a spacer. Alright, last bolt. Now we gotta put another spacer on right there. There we go. Hey, there we go. It's a double wheel spacer, which basically means it spaces out to there. Then we'll put another one of these on. Then another one of them. Then we just start back here with the same process. Bolt everything together. Yeah, come on now. There we go. Yeah, maybe it doesn't like that angle on that one. I'm not real sure. There we go. There we go. Put one more of these on, I hope. Hope it's the last one. And... That last bolt is always a pain. It's always a pain in the butt to get that last one. And we put this, bolt that on, put this section of track on, put the pins in, next section of track, another section of track, then the front track, do the same thing on the other side, except for we gotta put that on. The last rear guard on. Okay, there we go. Bolt that on. Then there goes the rear section. Now we gotta start all over again. Another spacer. Another bearing. More bolts. There we go. You can bolt this in. Nope, we add on more spacers. Oh boy. Well, which means we gotta go spend more money to get another spacer. There we go. There we go. I thought I could craft stuff. I thought I had stuff that I could craft with, but apparently not. It's like 
Mm, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. I'm like, ah. Eh. It's gonna cost me like all my money just to be able to get the ability to craft. That's when I was like, nah. It's not worth it because you have to go here to there. There we go. And then. Hit that, and then you hit that, and then you learn it's like pretty much all my money. So I was like, ah, I'll just buy it. I don't really care. Okay. Need double wheel spacer, which is all the way down here. Apparently not. It's right there. There we go. We put that on. Alright, there we go. Now we can bolt it on, apparently. I don't know what the heck was going on there. There we go. More the same. This is the second one. Make two different wheel variants of that. Now we're all of those. It's like, you run out of one thing, then it's time to go get the other. It sucks sometimes. But, you know. We'll get it there. Hopefully we can get it all done. Let's see. Eh, that one, get that last bolt. Bolt this one on. Okay, now we can put a section of track on. Alright. Now, let's see what else we need here. It shouldn't take us too long. I wouldn't think, anyway. Put all this... Onto that. Bolt this one on. Shouldn't take us that long neither. I wouldn't think anyway. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Get that last bolt. More bolts. All right. Now we got it. It's like I shouldn't have to put the front on to put that section of track on. Okay. Put another double wheel spacer on. Which should be the last one. Put this one on, which should be the last one, hopefully. Put that one on. It's like a lot of bolts. For something so simple. Okay, well I guess we're gonna go spend money to buy that. Shouldn't take us too long, and then we'll have it together. No problem with that, but it's just... In order to get the parts, like, you gotta spend, like, half my money. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. That's... That's a dumb idea. It's not a great idea, neither, but... There we go. Purchase that, that, and that. Okay, that's about the only thing that I know I need right now. I bought one more extra track, because I didn't know how many I had left. But... It doesn't matter whether we have extras, we can only sell them later. There we go. Put the front section on. There. Now all of its tracks are together. Put the headlight on. If I bought one. I think I did or not. I can't remember. Nope. Let's go buy one. Okay. That should be... All I need, really. Okay. There we go. That's all the other. Which looks pretty good. Now we just gotta put the in most of the internal stuff together. Gotta buy a freaking water hose. Okay, there we go. Now we can put most of these on. Alright, don't have any of- I don't have hardly anything for this thing. 
Like, I repaired most of it, I thought, but... So I'm just gonna start buying everything. Shouldn't take too long to buy everything that we need. Alright, there we go. Oh, let me just scroll over here. See what I need. Alright, that's what I'm gonna need. Scroll down here. There's what we need. We need two of those. And then we're gonna need, I believe it's called a tow cable. Yep, our track or something like that. It just looks like a tow cable to me. There we go, put those on. Uh, let's see what else I'm missing. Pretty much a lot. Looks like a lot. I'm missing a lot of parts on this thing. More than I thought I would ever miss, but... Alright, need two of those. There we go. Get the fastening, get all the fasteners and all that on for that. Alright, so that's good. Alright, now we're not missing anything up there. Now we can go ahead and work on the turret. Get all the turret together, which ain't gonna take us too long. Alright. There we go. Get most of that barrel done. I can get most of the stuff done on the outside, but the inside's gonna be a pain. So we might just have to outsource some of it. Which is probably what I will do. But, all that's done. Alright, put some primer on. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. I figured we were doing the primering. So I didn't. I thought I sandblasted everything too, but. Apparently not. But. That'll change here in just a second. Yeah, I just wanted to open the door. It's. Always like a pain sometimes. And... Alright. Looks like I got most everything, so let's start putting some paint down. Seems about the right time as any. There we go. Don't look too bad. Gotta switch back to primer to get that, but that won't take us that long. Alright, oh that looks good. But if we got primer, and then we'll put some paint down. There we go. So now we just gotta get. See, oh, let's just put it back on there. Should be pretty full. It's time to put some fluid in. Put all that coolant in, all the coolant in. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy and have a good day.